Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. So here we see the government in the Netherlands have announced they are going to close 3,000 farms. Yes, 3,000 farms. Now the Netherlands, it says here, produces 4 million cows, 13 million pigs, and 104 million chickens annually, and is Europe's biggest, Europe's biggest meat exporter, yeah? These control freaks have been talking about wanting to stop people eating meat, abstain from eating meat, and here they are closing 3,000 farms in the Netherlands, Europe's biggest meat exporter. It says here the Dutch government is planning to buy and close down up to 3,000 farms near environmentally sensitive areas to be in compliance with EU environmental rules, it says. Ah, the CC33, that old chestnut, apparently it says here, in compliance with the EU rules, but actually, from what I was told, this is the Netherlands government actually going one step further than the EU rules, or much stricter than the actual EU rules. Correct me if I'm wrong here. It continues, the government will conduct a compulsory purchase of the farms. Farmers will be offered a deal well over the value of the farm, according to the government plan. The government asserted there is no better offer coming in a Friday meeting with MPs. Apparently, it is said that the offer will be 120% of the value of the farm, and it will be offered to certain farms, and as it says here, it will be compulsory. I mean, what right do they have to take away someone's livelihood? You know, someone's life, basically. Many of these farmers have been doing this for all of their lives, maybe generations of them. And the government just want to come in and just snuff it out, just like that. Now, it says here, it's for the environment, yeah? But I wonder, is it more to do with their plans to build a tri-state city, which is this here? which is a super big, urban, connected city, a megalopolis, I believe they call them, which will connect the Netherlands with Brussels, Belgium and Germany. Is that what it's all about? And it's going to have a population of 45 million, estimated. I wonder if the farms that they want to compulsory purchase will be the ones with the land that is in the way of the building of this tri-state city. Now, I've seen some people say, you know, oh, this is okay because, hey, the Netherlands export 70% of all the food they produce. They say they have more than enough for themselves. Where exactly are their heads at? If these 3,000 farms are closed, the food that they would have produced, it was going to be eaten by somebody somewhere else. Where is this food going to be replaced from? I see someone online saying, oh, well, another country will gain from this. Well, how? Because as far as I can see, they are doing a similar thing in other countries, UK, Ireland, Canada, Brazil. They're cutting back, bringing in restrictions on farmers and farming. And this is happening all over the place. This is just, again, it's the control freaks trying to gain more and more control over food production and create shortages. In fact, the Netherlands is the second biggest food exporter in the world. So it says here, and they are going to close 3,000 farms. Now again, correct me if I'm wrong, but it says here that there are 12,000 or so farms in the Netherlands. So what is that? 3,000 farms out of 12, what's that, 25%, 30% of the farms in the Netherlands are going to be closed, and they are the second biggest exporter in the world. It says here that they are going to offer 20% over the asking price of the farm. The Dutch government have made available a ton of money to make these purchases. It's amazing how these governments just find billions available at the drop of a hat, you know, for whatever, digital ID passports, vaccine passports, whatever. All of a sudden, even though they're supposed to be in debt and, oh, times are tough. Oh, we need to keep inflation in check. Oh, we need to claw back some money, etc. Money means absolutely nothing to them. They just create it out of thin air. And of course, this ties in with so many of the UN sustainable development goals, getting people to stop eating meat, 
connecting cities and countries together, networking everything, everybody, having more centralized control over food production, and therefore those who control the food can control the people. It's looking a bit like communism, isn't it? Look, as I've said before, if you can if you can start looking into getting land, borrowing someone else's land, or joining a community where they grow their own veggies, or form a community to grow uh, vegetables, be proactive, get people together in your local area, work something out where you all share the land, grow your own food, join an allotment. I know it's, it's not always easy to find, but that's the way to go, to get some control over what's gonna happen in the future. Easier said than done, I know, and I know it's all well and good saying these things. If, if, if you're living in a high-rise flat, I understand it's not easy, but there you go. So that's an update. Uh, let us know if you're connected to any farmers in the Netherlands, what's happening there, or whatever country you are in. Are they pushing the same sort of farming agenda in your own country? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for listening. Comment, subscribe to the website at hugotalks.com if you want to be notified of when I upload a video. And I'll see you later. <laughs>